100 Town Hall 10s and 11s this war. Uh, all of them from WHF. So we're going to take a look at uh, what went down this war and see if we can catch us some very high level attacks. Show you guys some examples. Alright, so this war is in progress. Right now, we've got WHF Family Scrim going on this weekend, taking place instead of the CWL because it's a bye week. We don't have a CWL matchup, but WHF doesn't know buys. What are buys? We're playing, we're going hard, 50 versus 50 this weekend, and we are going all Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 11s. We had a separate event going on for the Town Hall 9s, we're looking at the high level stuff today though guys first and foremost let's show you guys my fail so i did participate in the war i went in and tried to hit big urn here big urn trying to uh defend he's got a interesting it's like a ring base but not because you know there's a few compartments here and he's made it difficult to wall break in to get the eagles so i i basically sent the queen in uh, from the bottom left here, I'm, I'm planning on breaking open the wall. Unfortunately, my wall breakers didn't target where I wanted to at first, so not quite as efficient as where I wanted to be, uh, but that's okay. So Rage Bell keeps the queen up, keeps the Grand Warden up, and she is just going to walk down south. Uh, and my goal here is to get this guy taken out. We want the Inferno Tower. We want the Eagle. While this is going on, I'm doing a little funneling on bottom, taking out that gold mine, making sure that my king and bowlers aren't going to walk around the side. Now, Grand Warden ability happens here. Uh, Rage Bell gets the queen back up to full, and check that out. She takes out the enemy queen, and the Inferno Tower is able to save the ability. Poison Spell down to receive the Clan Castle troops coming out. We're going to get the, the uh, what is that, the balloon? Balloon's going to go down, and while this is happening, we've got a baby dragon down here for the remainder of the funnel, and hopefully to take out that Tesla, although that doesn't work out. A little too much firepower coming in, uh, but that's okay. We do get one of the buildings taken out that's going to um, solidify the funnel, and now it's time to get a couple bowlers down, take out the uh, Tesla, and wall break is in. So wall is open. We're going to join the king and bowlers up with the queen right now. Now, ideally, in an ideal world, uh, the queen comes up and picks up this eagle. I knew that was kind of a stretch, though, because of the one tile between the walls. Uh, so we're going to make the most of it. We sent some witches and bowlers on the outside here, and their goal is to kind of keep all this stuff on the outside, take it out. That way my troops go to the inside. We still have our free spell. The last rage spell is about to go down right now. Maybe a little bit early, but I really didn't want to sit in range of the Inferno Tower with my bowlers. So I wanted them to run out, just like you saw right there, as soon as possible. I delayed a little bit on the Inferno. Didn't want the Queen to get too low, but as she rolls around the wall here, back up to full health. So not too shabby at all. The Bowler's now kind of rejoining things. Unfortunately, though, the Queen, she doesn't go for the Inferno right away. She keeps going around the ring. Damn you, Queen, why? Always, why? Never goes where I want her to, but that's okay. We've got Bowler's hitting the Town Hall from the bottom. We've got bowlers going in from the right, and we've got more bowlers pushing from the top. This is looking okay, and, and where it starts to break down is, check this out, not only are we short on time, but the eagle is focused on these bowlers here. Now, as those bowlers take out the town hall, they get into the dead zone. Well, the eagle can no longer target those bowlers because it's inside of his little happy range, whatever. So he shifts his attention to the queen. Queen's going to get blown up here. And unfortunately, she dies right before being able to take out the Tesla and get out through the wall. So that is that. We end up at 95% on the Town Hall 11. Big fail on Big Urn. Now you've seen it though, guys. Okay, so there were so many raids happening. We actually have a live one right now. Let's see who it is. We've got a Town Hall 11 triple attempt. We've got Bill taking on Poison Stinger. And it is halfway through the raid, and it's looking like it's kind of going to fall apart if the queen doesn't get through this wall to get the air defense, like, right now. Because these, uh, these balloons are grouped up, the eagle's still alive, going into a wizard tower. This spells doom. Boom, there it is, all of them down. Queen unable to get there in time, eagle stays up, but you know what, that's a pretty high percentage raid. 
it's it's all about can she survive long enough here to get to the wizard tower to take it out i don't think so because we got 30 seconds left eagles down now we can start working our way through the wall um but simply not enough holy crap that's not even the queen that's the grand warden what are you doing in a dress bro Jeez louise all right so 90 percent on that base not too shabby at all Let's go look at some successful attacks that happened this war. 117, 123, still an hour and a half to go. Anything can happen here, guys. 150 stars possible. This is a, a 50 versus 50 war. We have 16 Town Hall 11s on both sides. Let's look and see if there's any Town Hall 11 triples so far. I think this was kind of a practice war, like 11s dipping 10s, trying to clean that up a little bit. Because if there's someone that we're kind of weak, I would say that we we fail too many dips. Like, we'll come out and knock out six to eight Town Hall 10 triples, and then we fail dips, and then we, we get in close wars that we shouldn't be in. So that's something that we're trying to improve upon. Ryanstein, here we go. Uh, Ryan Sidden. I, I don't even know what the hell, the, how to say that. I'm going to call him Ryan. So... That's that's what we're gonna say. It's bowlers, it's witches. We've got a queen charge coming from the right side. Four wall breakers only. But with these box bases, you only need that one layer, and then the queen pretty much has free reign. You can kind of uh, plan the pathing a little bit. You see the baby dragon coming in here from the right, taking out the archer tower. There's the rage spell that's gonna keep that queen going, and you should see some wall breakers coming down right now. Now, after this dark storage goes down, she's gonna retarget to the cannon. Poison spell coming down right now. Gonna get that Lava Hound and the Balloon. Now, the Balloon probably will get one bomb drop off here because uh, it was a little bit shallow on the Poison. So we'll see. He does drop in a Wizard to support, so that could help things. Uh, and the Balloon does not get a bomb drop off. The Hound destroyed in time. Wizard helping out, uh, taking out these Lava Pups. So things looking pretty good. Now, here comes... Is that Witches in the CC? I love it. So, Witches in the CC coming down this side and trying to force the Queen to the Eagle Artillery. All is well so far. Queen is doing what she's supposed to. And we've got Bowlers in as well. So, the Queen's actually going to go around to the right, it looks like. Nope, she is going to keep going with the Kill Squad here. I thought they would clear out enough to send her around the other way. But no, they are all going to stay together. Trying to kind of uh, combat this style of attack by putting a wall around the town hall, making it so uh, the bowlers can't get there. But kind of a fatal mistake in that there's only one tile moat right here. Queen easily able to target that thing from outside the wall. And then continuing on, we still have a golem out in front with the king doing some tanking here. Last little objective to take out is the backside inferno tower. Ryan's going to get that taken out, no problem. Free spell comes down, gets the cannon as well as the air sweeper. That's going to keep the healer safe. And the Inferno Tower obviously is the main target there. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. I still feel like crap. Um, hoping to get better soon, man, because as soon as I got back in the office, like I was here for a day and I literally got the flu, like bad chills, bad like shiver. Oh, it's horrible, man. Um, turning up the temperature in the house and all that because normally like I like it cold, but geez Louise Then I'm busting into the hot flashes. It's been pretty nasty. So anyways Ryan here getting it done against hexagram hexagram What are you doing with the base, bro? Anyway, nice work there from team Loki getting the town hall 11 triple now We do have a live one going right now uh, This one should be a dip and we are gonna watch it because why the heck not Chris win? going up against Bailey here He's going to demonstrate a little bit of a suicide Lalo here. You can see what he's doing with the Giants. He's getting some tanking done on those Teslas, buying his hero's time. Ability uh, hit there for the King, and the Queen's going to step up, get the cannon, and then go over to this air defense and take that out. Really nice push so far, a lot of value there, and he's opening up pathing uh, to the Inferno so this stuff doesn't stray. Now, will the Queen go back? No, she's going to keep going. Look at this. She's going to get more value here, more air targeting stuff as well. She's going to get a wizard tower, another archer tower, possibly even the enemy archer queen here. We will see if uh, the, the queen aggros. I don't know that she's going to. She is. Look at that. She comes out and look at this. Wow, what a great push there from Chris Wynn. Going to get the archer tower steps up. Holy crap, dude. How about some value there? And then we've just got a whole ton of bullet. I mean... He gets the whole base with that, guys. He spreads it super wide. 
Pounds coming in, three air defenses left, and this is essentially clone where the balloons are weakest. So right here in the middle, you're going to see a clone spell come down. There it is, full health balloons dropping in right on top of the Inferno, and wow, that is absolutely crushed. Really nice attack there from Chris Wynn. The entry gave so much value, only for the cost of two giants, a few wall breakers, and the heroes. Able to take out an air defense and a half side, one side of the base in its entirety. That was absolutely insane. So, really nice job on that. Balloons finishing it up, going around the base. He's got 173 left over. Let's get into some 10v10 action right now, because why the heck not? So, we're going to scroll down past number 16. Let's look at, we got Smiling Muffin picked one up. Let's count them, first of all. We got one, two... Uh, three, four, no, where's the four? There it is, five and six. So only six so far for our squad. Man, tough bases or something, I guess. It looks like we're going to have, ooh, look at this, three poach getting 199% fresh. I'm going to definitely show that one here in a minute. So we got one, uh, two, three, four, five and six so six for both sides i'm actually surprised by that we get that many in cwl like going up against far fewer bases on the other side so maybe it's the fact that there's so many opponent bases that we literally have to spread more attacks we can't really focus in on just one or two like you know it's like we're all kids in candy shops right now so let's throw uh, three poach layup he is jiful uh fresh here so three star fresh you're going to notice all of the air defense kind of available on that bottom bottom left side here. He's going to start with a queen walk from the right side, though. And doing this, he's going to avoid any air sweeper um, issues. Now, he's going to... It, man, is he going to go around the outside? It looks like he's going to. All of this stuff up here is leading his queen up. But I wonder if he's going... He's making a, 11 wall breakers. He's making a play for the Inferno here. So... As soon as this uh, wizard tower is about to die, you're going to see some wall breakers come down. I'm almost sure of it. Right now. Go. Go. I'm wrong. What in the world is he doing? All right. So where? How, what is he doing? This is a crazy walk. So he got all of that extra value and then used the minions up top to keep, keep funneling and keep clearing trash. So there it is. Wall breaking in. Rage Spell gets the Wall Breakers in, and now the Queen should turn to the end side. Gonna lock onto this Storage first and clear that. Sends in a Wizard to kind of speed up this charge. Probably smart because a lot of time was spent clearing some additional trash that didn't add a lot of value to, you know, the objective portion of the raid, but it did speed things up quite a bit. So the Queen is gonna head in, lock onto this cannon and he's really just exposing that inferno tower right now really nicely she's gonna keep walking down the wall still six wall breakers left we've got great tanking for that wall breaker exit up here you're gonna see some come down in just a second most likely to let the queen out and then back in to get more air defenses taken care of so here comes more possibly possibly no what is happening here i'm so confused by this raid Three Poach is on a different level, man. He's on a different level. There it is. He gets the junction to get the queen around. That's much more efficient than what I was thinking. Then hits the inner portion. Gonna get the queen as well. Longest charge ever. Has he started the air portion yet? Nah. Nah, not needed. Still only 50 seconds left in the raid. Now, he did three stars. That's how... I mean, guys, pause it. 45 seconds in the raid are remaining until it's three star. Like, what the heck? What the heck? This is, like, everything is left. Both Inferno Towers, four Teslas, the Queen, and you're telling me this base is cleared in 45 seconds? Like, what? That's insane. So, in we go to the core. Queen uses her ability, takes out the enemy Archer Queen, starts working on those Teslas. She is locked on. You're going to see one more Rage Spell in all likelihood on the Queen to keep her alive, maybe? Or is she going to let her die? I just... And the queen dies, and he still clears it that fast. That is insane. Three Poach is absolutely crushing this base. Both Inferno Tower is now down, and there it is. Now you kind of see how the cleanup happened so fast. Wow, dude. That was pretty crazy. Three Poach layup, getting it done. All kinds of minions coming in from the side. And he's able to clean it up just like that. So he has like an hour and a half long queen charge. 
huge value. I just didn't see how he could charge for that long without sending his air troops, but 18 minions is able to clear this thing up in no time at all. So that was absolutely insane. Let's watch Jung here. We got 10 versus 11 action now. This one's too far into it. Meh. We'll go to, the, we'll go to something else. I'm trying to catch lives at the same time. I know it's kind of weird. Um, let's see. We have a whole lot of Town Hall 11s left to hit on our side. They are pretty much out of juice, and it looks like we're only down five right now. So, uh, Loki sitting in pretty good shape. Let's go down the list here and see if we can find maybe a couple more 10v10s. What do you guys say? I think that's pretty decent. Apollyon, number 50, taking out number 50. Slick Camel getting his. Man, Apollyon's going to be, uh, this is, this is 9.5 action, more or less, guys. This is 9.5. These guys have not dropped in their Infernos yet. So I'll give you guys, I'm, I'm going to show this. It's not the most exciting because these guys are beefy. Town Hall 9.5s, 37 King, 40 Queen. Uh, but here's just a strategy for you. I'm going to play it in 2x um, just to kind of get through it and not make the video like an hour long. Like I do want to show quite a bit um, in this video because it's not every day that you get 100 Town Hall 10s and 11s in the same war. Uh, to do their thing. So he's basically funneling right now. He's got a king walk going down the right side of the base. Bowler's in behind. Just doing work. Destroying all this stuff. That new archer tower gets wrecked. And here comes the miners. We've got minor rage heal uh, for that first section. Another heal. We still have two more heals left in the army. And you know one of them's going down in the core here for those Teslas. There it is. Looking pretty good so far. Apollyon uh, still has his queen alive, too. So she finally goes down, but the miners are going to go ahead, finish this base off. No more heals left, but really not a lot of splash to worry about. One mortar, but that's just not going to matter. So the oh, that, that double bomb, though, that hurt. So anyway, Apollyon getting it done. Nice work, dude. All right, I promise 10v10s now, guys. I promise 10v10s. All right, so Bill versus Super Trucker is 11v11. I'm probably halfway through the raid, so I'm not going to jump into that one just yet. Let's go check out. We have... Uh, I'm looking for 10v10. So many 11v10s. There we go. Messed Gun. Messed Gun for Team Hulk taking on SK and DRA. So, I like this one because A, not maxed heroes. B, Miners. C, not mass miners. They're like a hybrid miner army. So, 19 miners, and he's bringing the queen charge. Now, he's going right at an inferno tower, so this could get a little bit interesting. He's going to take out the surrounding defense first. Wall break action coming, I have a feeling. I've been wrong before this episode, though, so we'll see. Nine wall breakers in this army. Where is he going to use them? We've got balloons coming in. With the hate spell, guys. So when you do this type of strategy, five balloons recommended um, to get in there and get enough damage on the Inferno Tower to take it out in one shot. So there's the Rage, keeping that queen alive. She's doing some extra damage now and also able to keep keep alive, just barely. Uh, but up on top, we've got uh, Wizard taking out the, the, the hut and then getting slaughtered by Double Mortar. We have a Poison coming down for the CC. And again, uh, that loon may get a may get a bomb drop off. We will see here. Queen's still stuck on. Boom! It it does. So no, it doesn't. How in the world does the loon? I get so unlucky. I think, guys. Like when I do that, if I drop my poison shallow at all, the balloon gets a bomb drop off every time. Other people, the balloon just like chilling. It doesn't even matter. So double layer wall breaking going on. That Rage Spell, perfect. That gets the Queen in super deep. And look at that channel. She can work all the way back to the other Inferno Tower and just kind of just kind of chill. Now, the other side, we've got Miners working. He drops the King in on the edge. Really nice work on that. Going to pop the King ability here and head down the side. He wants to get to the, the Teslas out there, but I don't know that he's going to get there. We will see. There's the uh, storage. One Tesla down. Can he get the other one? And the barbs do lock on. They might be able to get that Tesla. They do get it. And nice work on that. Even the storage goes down. So all of the miners are working their way towards this Inferno Tower. 
and the king holds him up there, which is perfect because that gives the queen time to walk over, lock on here, and she's going to be able to pop that ability right now, take out the Inferno Tower before all those miners pop up, last heal spell down, that was a textbook raid by Mescon. Uh, loved it. We've got one more mortar left to go, but this is obviously a, a three-star, guys. Three-star for the good guys or bad guys. I don't even freaking know. Uh, smash is what Mess Gun just did for Team Hulk. So, 100% on that one. Let's watch one more. Let's go, uh, let's go watch one for Team Loki here. I'm going with the, the Avengers theme, I guess. So, I didn't make up the names, guys. I don't even know. But Salam, hey, let's, uh, let's check out Salam sit on Teemo. There's a, uh, a missile style base, and you know we bring the drag loon often at Town Hall 10. And you're going to see Salam here take advantage of a base where all four air defenses in the corners, all of them kind of vulnerable here. And the queen comes in, takes out one. Now he's got the king working another corner here. Normally you see like a wizard come in behind that, but I don't know if that's going to be a thing. He's kind of clearing some stuff out. One barb kind of runs up there. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be able to get that or not. We'll see. So there's the wizard. What do you know? So right on top of it, all he did was just clear it out. And look at that. Only two shots fired by that enemy. Oh, my goodness. Balloon soaks up the black bombs on both sides. What a fantastic scout uh, for this, like, whatever. He knew where this stuff was. He sent in balloons on both sides to soak up the Seeking Air Mines. And now he's got two haste spells. And you know haste really isn't for dragons. It is for loons, though. He's got a lot of loons in his camp still. Eight, so four for each air defense. Those are directly targetable. So here comes a hound. What? He's cloning. Look at this. Look at this. He's cloning. So he's got seven plus the one out of the CC, so eight balloons on that side. And he chooses to go four with a haste right on that last air defense, using the Hound for cover. Dude, this is smash, dude. What a great raid by Salam. This actually excites me. Uh, that is good stuff. Look at how many balloons are left over. The only thing left in this base right now is this bomb tower. And uh, if this dragon would be so kind to clear this pup uh, you know, problem out of the way, um, he is able to get it taken care of just before he dies. So, very, very nice work on that. So many balloons left over. Would have got the three-star anyways, but Salam, that was that was huge, bro. Anyways, this has been a crazy war. A lot of fun. Thank you guys in WHF for having me uh, in the war uh, to show off my 95% uh, fail. Because that was that was what I was going for. I wanted, I didn't want to be like... Yo, I'm, I'm going to triple Town Hall 11s like crazy. I should be back in the lineup like now. But, you know, I just wanted to be like, I'm not completely washed up. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, thanks so much uh, for the war, for going head to head. The 100 Town Hall 10s and 11s in the same war is insane. We ought to do that again. We do have another 50 v 50 war coming up a little bit later this week. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we have YouTube General coming up this week. Midweek versus General Tony's clan. That's going to be interesting. We'll try to figure out exactly what the lineups are going to be. They've got some goofy stuff going on with some of their base builds, but that is okay. We're just going to have a good time, throw a lineup out there that we feel like we can have some fun with, and uh, just do the dang thing. So, that being said, guys, I've got to get back resting. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It is going to be a big one. So... That being said, I am out of here for today. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I hope all of you are doing well. And big shout out to my best homie, Clash with Ash, because he and his uh, his lady are in the hospital right now, maybe having a baby. Now, Ash not so much, but but his woman having a baby. So, congratulations, dude. It's it's you know I've done it three times now, and it is literally the best thing in the world absolutely the best thing in the world uh you will be forever changed and i know everybody knows dude you're going to be a fantastic dad so that being said that all i have today best of luck i hope everything goes well dude i'm out of here this is power bang i'll catch you guys in the next episode peace out going back to bed. <laughs>